So it says find the coefficient of the x to the ninth term in the expansion of this here. Hmm. Even though this is a trinomial, you can kind of like group make it a binomial. You can think of it as a binomial by like letting this guy be one of the guys. X squared is like playing the role of x and then 2x plus 1 playing the role of y. And so you'll have like a binomial within a binomial. But that's a hard approach unless, you know, that's your only option. You shouldn't go in that direction. But what I'm saying is like you can treat a trinomial as a binomial. So there is a weird but difficult approach to answering this question. The clever and inventive and quick way to solve it is to recognize that x squared plus 2x plus 1 can be written as a binomial. x squared plus 2x plus 1 is x plus 1 all squared. So if you recognize that, then you can make this problem super simple. So recognizing that x squared plus 2x plus 1 is x plus 1 all squared, you can write this trinomial to the 10th power as um, a binomial squared and then to the 10th power. And of course, then you could just write it as a binomial to the 20th power. And then it's very easy to figure out what the coefficient of x to the 9th will be from here, right? Uh, using the binomial theorem up here, we know that the coefficient of x to the 9th uh, of this guy is going to come from the 20 choose uh, 11, right? Because then we'll have 20 choose 11, x to the 20 minus 11, so x to the 9th, and then um, the other guy in this binomial is 1, so 1 to the 11th, and that's just 1. And so we're going to get 20 choose 11, x to the 9th, from uh, which we see that the coefficient is 20 choose 11. And I don't think uh, that we need to figure out what 20 choose 11 is. It's just going to be like more cumbersome to do that than to leave our final answer like this. So I'll leave it like this. I hope you enjoyed uh, both of these uh, problems and keep watching. Take care.